Hello and welcome to this session of digestive health. It's fascinating when you think of complexity of human body and the digestive system in particular. This one organ is probably the largest organ of the body with a length of roughly 30 feet in human adults, or for a better idea, four times the height of LeBron James. This organ is also fascinating in its complexity, containing myriads of cells residing in the gut with roughly 10,000 different species of microorganisms, which make up more cells than the human body itself. It's commonly called as a gut microbiota. Now, the importance of this microbiota for the human health and in disease can well be understood by the fact that today, microbiome itself has become a separate field of research. On the lighter side, I even found on internet a form dedicated to digestive system called gastrointestinal confluence, as you see on this page. Since we all get our nutrition from the food, the function of the GI tract and its health is utmost important. Now, food also influences how well the digestive tract can function and influences its health as well. The food we ate 20 years ago and today has a vast difference. Today we eat more processed food than ever, lacking essential nutrients. While 20 years back, there was malnutrition, a problem due to lack of enough healthy food on the table. But today, we suffer lack of nutrition because of the excessive processed food in our diet, lacking the nutrients, or in other words, we are overfed and undernourished. Well, digestive system needs its own nutrients and also supporting nutrients for convert, conserving its function and health. In this presentation, we will be, dis we'll be talking about some of these nutrients, nutrients or supplements which can help your gut function. We chose examples from three different fields, enzymes, herbs, and probiotics. These ingredients have been chosen as few of them, such as enzymes are lacking in our food and needs to be supplemented, while other ingredients like ginger are helpful in overcoming the digestive, daily digestive health issues. Then we will all be also be discussing on our microbiota and how supplementing the probiotics can help to maintain a good microflora in the gut. So let's start with the enzymes. Our body makes enzymes as well as certain fruits, vegetables, which we eat, also contain enzymes. However, with less intake of the raw material, more processed food in our diet, we hardly get sufficient enzymes from the food. And body depending on its own reserve of enzymes. Now, unfortunately, our resources or production of enzymes also reduces over a period of time. With age, stress, lack of sleep, the enzyme production also decreases. Thus, there is a need to provide the body these essential digestive enzymes which can help to maintain the digestive health. Dikezyme is a clinically studied proprietary blend of enzymes which can support the digestive health. We also will briefly discuss its application in the sports nutrition. Now, Dikezyme as mentioned, is a blend of enzymes which consists of five digestive enzymes. These enzymes are chosen to support the digestive health and digestion of major nutrients in the gut. These enzymes are amylase, protease, lipase, cellulase, and lactase, each having a specific substrate and function. Hence, amylase performs the function of hydrolyzing the starch and other complex carbohydrates, Protease is a protein digesting enzyme, while lipase helps support the breakdown of fat. Cellulase in digestion helps to support the digestion of vegan diet consisting of more plant-based food, and lactase is the enzyme which helps proper digestion of milk-based sugar. Now,
Now, choice of enzymes or sources of enzymes used in the digestion were based on safety and efficacy of enzymes from those sources. Digizyme consists of non-GMO based enzymes obtained from the fermentation process from the fungal and bacterial sources. Now, these microorganisms source enzymes are known to be resistant to the low pH of the GI tract and are able to retain their enzymatic activity in the small intestine, which is the site of their activity. As mentioned earlier, each enzyme has specific substrate and purpose. In digestion, all enzymes perform a specific function. Enzymes usually work on lock and key concept. Each key or enzyme works on a specific lock or substrate. Hence, if we look at the individual enzymes, we will note that their specific purpose and supporting function in the digestive process of those nutrients. Amylase, a carbohydrate digesting enzyme, helps to break starch polysaccharides in food, which makes up the major source of calories in the diet in the processed food. Cellulase, on the other hand, as explained uh, previously, helps to break the chitin cellulose and helps to release the nutrients from the food matrix, such as fruits and vegetables. Lipase is the fat digesting enzyme. Fat is, again, essential nutrients need to be properly broken down in the GI tract. Protease, on the other hand, is a shell enzyme which works on the variety of protein ingested in the food and helps in supporting the digestion and thus assimilation of proteins in the body. Improper digestion of protein may lead to other digestive issues. Lactase then again a very important enzyme specifically for people suffering from the lactose intolerance, a condition associated with the lack of enzymes in the body to digest the milk. Now, origin of enzyme is also important and should be discussed. In digestion, each enzyme has a specific non-GMO organism. In this slide, we can see the sources for each of these enzymes. Now, one of the key differences between a herbal or other supplements and enzymes is their classification and how we standardize them. Usually, in plant-based products, one can see milligram or percentage values as declaration of content of the ingredient. However, in case of enzyme, the content in milligrams or grams or percentage is not that relevant. The FCC or Food Chemical Codex provides the method and standards for testing the individual enzymes and also their individual units to determine the potency. Now, these standards are recognized globally and have been used in determining the strength of the product containing these enzymes. In digestion, all individual enzymes are tested using FCC methods and their strengths are declared with individual units. In this slide, you can see the strength of the individual enzymes used in the digestion. As part of the clean label system, Sodinsa provides the individual strength of each enzyme in their own unit. So the customer or the formulators can understand the dosage of each enzyme in the known weight of digestion. Now, digestion has been one of the branded blends of Sabinsa, which has not only been clinically studied, but also referenced in book. More information on digestion can also be obtained from the book, complete uh, book on enzyme therapy, published in 1999. In fact, last year, Sabinsa also explored the use of digestion in sports nutrition and published a paper. Digestion was found to support not only healthy digestion, but also played an important role in reducing the delayed onset of muscle soreness or dome in healthy individuals. Digizyme at the standard dose of 550 milligram three times a day was found to reduce the pain associated with eccentric or mild exertive exercises. The study can be accessed in the uh, sports nutrition and therapy journal. Now, based on the specification of digestion and later 
study on the domes, that design was granted two health claims in Canada. The first one as a function uh, to function as enzymes and help in digestion. And second, as helping in reducing the pain and tenderness associated with delayed onset of muscle soreness after exercise. These health claims are allowed on the product label sold in Canada with their own NPN number. Now let's move to our next ingredient, ginger. An age-old spice and well known across several civilizations and food cultures for its aromatics, taste, and health benefits. Ginger shares the same family as turmeric. Ginger belongs to the family gingivoraceae. Ginger perhaps is also one of the most well-known herbs when it comes to the digestive health. Ginger, known for its health benefits related to the digestive disorders like nausea, upset stomach, flatulence, diarrhea, and motion sickness. The main active constituents of ginger are known as gingerols. These group of compounds are present in the fresh or the dry ginger root. Ginger is known for its digestive health benefits. For several centuries, Greeks used to eat raw ginger roots for preventing the nausea. Chinese sailors used to take ginger to avoid seasickness. And its traditional role in herbal medicines such as in Ayurveda is also well known for nausea, motion sickness, vomiting, stomach cramps. Because of its use in food as spice and flavor, and also used in the traditional medicine, its acceptability in the dietary supplements is quite high and is fast becoming a popular ingredient in supplements. Perhaps one of the most common and the tasty preparation of ginger for the digestive health is the ginger ale. Most of us may still have memories of ginger ale for the stomach upset. It's also part of the cried water given to infants for the stomach pain. Ginger, most common use in home remedies is related to its anti-emetic effect on nausea. Ginger is known to relieve the symptoms of nausea and vomiting associated with emotion sickness, surgery, and pregnancy. Gingerols are known to improve the gastric motility, which helps in reducing the toxic buildup as well as to reduce the nausea symptoms due to poor gastric and In a phase two and three study conducted in, on 644 subjects uh, who received at least three chemotherapy sessions, ginger was given as supplement to reduce the lingering nausea along with the other antiemetic drugs starting three days prior and, and three days following the treatment. Ginger was found to be effective at all given dosages to reduce the nausea. And in the largest study to this date at Rochester University, it was reported that little as much as one quarter of the teaspoon of ginger uh, reduces the symptoms of nausea by almost 40%. Ginger, as mentioned, has several health benefits for the digestive health, including calming the upset stomach, improving the flow of bile, easing the stomach cramps and better circulation. Ginger's health benefits are not limited to the digestive disorders and also include relieving the menstrual cramps, decreasing headache, management of blood sugar levels, and just like turmeric, it also has a good COX-2 inhibitory activity, which is related to its anti-inflammatory action. And it also has good antioxidant activity. Samansa provides ginger extract in three grades, 5% ginger uh, powder extract and soft extract from supercritical fluid extraction process. This process yields high content of gingerol. It's important to mention that gingerols are heat sensitive compounds and tend to dehydrate and form chagalls when heated in the drying process. Hence, supercritical fluid extraction, which uses the carbon dioxide as a solvent is better process to retain the natural compositions of ginger oil. 
Now we have looked at two segments of our presentation, which includes the digestive health ingredients from enzymes and herbs. Now let us look at a segment which is one of the fastest growing segments in the digestive health category, probiotics. Probiotics are perhaps one of the oldest form of supplements, virtually as old as time since man discovered the health benefits of sour milk. Well, there are several different probiotics in the market. In this segment, we'll be talking about a single strain of bacteria, the Bacillus coagulans, MTCC5856, known as Lactospore, marketed by Sabinsa Corporation. Lactospore can be classified as SF lab bacteria, which, which is known as spore-forming lactic acid-producing bacteria. Bacillus coagulans, in general, and MTCC5856 in specific is more resilient than commonly used lactic acid bacteria in terms of its survival in finished dosages at the room temperature and also survival in the gut. Today, the spore forming probiotics have made the use of probiotics possible in products like gummies, candies, cookies, beverages like kombucha and other food articles. In this segment, we will look at some of the properties of Bacillus coagulans NTCC5856 and its application in the digestive health. So let's start with the definition of the probiotic, which was drafted by joint FAO and WHO working group. It is live and provides the health benefits when taken in adequate amount. Again, the survival and the health benefits are the key words. Bacillus coagulans, with its survival and the health benefits in the GI tract, fulfills the definition quite appropriately. Today, the probiotics as a segment of supplements and food is showing a great growth, much of it thanks to the bacteria like Bacillus coagulans, which has made possible for the probiotics to expand into the food and beverages, which was not possible earlier. Today, probiotics are showing a good 7% compound annual growth rate in supplements, much better than most of the other categories of supplement industry. By 2020, it is expected to be over $65 billion industry. Let's learn a little more about this particular bacteria, lactospore. So lactospore, as mentioned, is classified as bacillus coagulans with the strain number of MTCC5856. Initially, it was known as lactobacillus sporogenes because of its lactic acid producing nature. However, after sixth edition of Burgi's classification, it was reclassified as bacillus coagulans. It is a non-toxic and non-pathogenic microorganism, and with a his market history of over two decades, lactospore has a distinction of one of the longest history of use of forming probiotics in the dietary supplements uh, in USA. Lactospore is currently marketed as probiotic in Japan, European Union, Australia, Korea, Asia, Americas, and Canada. Now let's talk about some of the unique features of lactospore. It is a rod-shaped, gram-positive, and endospore-forming bacteria. It uh, capability of forming the endospore coat around itself helps its survival in the harsh environment. It remains in the dormant state without losing the viability. Once it receives the proper growth conditions such as temperature, water, and ripe food, it will germinate. Its optimal growth condition includes 37 degrees Celsius temperature, which is the human body temperature, and in the pH range of 5.5 to 6.2. It's a facultative, uh, facultative aerobic and can form the lactic acid in the gut. It has high tolerance to bile and gastric acidity to survive the transit in the gastrointestinal canal. Once it reaches to the small intestine and with a suitable condition, it can proliferate in the gut and perform its probiotic function, which includes production of lactic acid and bacteriocins, which help in killing the pathogenic bacteria and creating suitable condition for proliferation of good bacteria. 
and thus help in creating a good balance or eubiosis in the gut. Remember, this is a transitory bacteria. So in some uh, manufacture this bacteria in their own facility, which was inspected by FDA and audited by NSF. This is an in-house facility where only single strain bacteria is cultivated. In this state-of-art facility, Sabinsa also maintains a testing facility for the probiotic culture to maintain the quality of batch-to-batch -batch consistency and also development of testing protocols for the finished dosages of lactospore, such as gummies. Testing of finished formulations of probiotic is important for the proper quality management. Now, lactospore has undergone several studies which have been published in the peer-reviewed publications. One of the important characteristics of a probiotic is its shelf life stability and consistency of its quality. In order to study its genotypic and phenotypic consistency and stability, a study of three different batches spread over three years were tested using the 16S rRNA sequencing, box PCR fingerprinting, and multi-locus sequence uh, typing. The results showed that the samples uh, evaluated over the three years were consistent for the strain MTCC5856. And further, lactospore was found to be non-mutagenic, non-toxic, negative for any enterotoxin, and stable for three years shelf life. Now, the stability was further put to test in the formulation. One of the advantages with the bacillus coagulans is its stability against the thermal and physical stresses because of its spore forming nature. Lactospore can be heated to high temperature and same time can be cooled to the freezing temperature and still it will retain its viability. Further, lactospore was found to withstand the heat exposure in making gummies, chocolates, candies, and also tablets. In a series of stability studies, Bassus Coughlin's MTCC5856 lactospore was heated to high temperature in range of 90 degrees Celsius to 140 degrees Celsius for a period ranging from 30 seconds to 3 minutes. Lactospore was able to retain its viability between 97% to 75% overall. This showed that bacillus coagulans can be exposed to heating conditions which functional foods can come across and it will still remain maintain its viability. In a study published in International Journal of Food Science and Technology 2016, several functional food concepts using lactospore were tested for the stability and viability of the lactospore after the formulation to basically understand the effect of processing on the probiotic culture. Lactospore was thus formulated in variety of foods like coffee, vegetable oil, uh, concentrated glucose-rich media, baked items like waffles and cookies. The study results showed that lactospore was able to retain 87% of its viability during brewing of the coffee 99% viability in the apple juices based on the stability studies like the shelf life of glucose syrup was found to be two years at 40 degrees Celsius. And these studies were helpful to formulate the probiotic in the finished products and to commercialize them. Lactospore as a sport forming probiotic also underwent the safety and efficacy trial. I'll briefly mention one of each of these trials. Since the spore-forming probiotics were new to the Canadian health market, in order to use lactospore as probiotic in Canada, Sabinsa conducted a clinical trial in Canada in collaboration with KGK Synergize as per the protocol advised by Health Canada. In this study, 40 subjects were divided into groups with one of the group ingesting two billion spores per day in the single dosage for 30 days. The laboratory parameters 
anthropometric assessments and vitals were recording during the trial. Also, along the number of bowel movements, side effects, pistol score tests were also performed. Study results showed that the supplementation of lactospore was safe in healthy human adults. Based on this clinical trial, Sabinsa received approval from Health Canada to introduce lactospore as probiotic in the Canadian market. Let us look at another clinical trial on lactospore concerning its health benefits. Now, as we know, that irritable bowel syndrome, or commonly known as IBS, is a functional disorder of GI tract with fluctuating symptoms such as abdominal pain, changes in bowel movements, vomiting, bloating, so on. The diagnosis of IBS is even more difficult and often requires testing to rule out other GI tract conditions. Because of the condition underlying the IBS, the quality of life also suffers for people suffering from IBS. Based on the diagnosis and symptoms, it is often classified as IBS type C or type D, or sometimes even IBS type M. As per the figures from the International Foundation for Functional Gastrointestinal Disorders, almost 25 to 40 million Americans suffer from IBS, of which two-thirds are females. IBS is a condition which affects both young as well as in old age. While the exact mechanism of IBS is not fully understood, it may be proper to say that symptoms associated with IBS are the result of interaction of gut, brain, and nervous system, or in other words, it includes gut-brain access. Now, common symptoms related with IBS are diarrhea, abdominal pain, constipation, flatulence, bloating, Salinsa conducted a clinical study on lactospore for its efficacy in management of diarrhea predominant irritable bowel syndrome. The study was later published in Nutrition Journal in 2016. This study focused on IBS type D as the predominant condition. So let us look briefly at this clinical study. This was conducted as multicentric study at three different hospitals in southern India. This clinical trial was performed as a double-blind placebo-controlled trial. Patient selection was based on the inclusion and exclusion criteria set for the IPS subjects who were in the range of 18 to 55 years with Rome-free diagnostic criteria, with normal blood profile, and not taking any other antibiotics, whereas patients with the functional dyspepsia or other medical conditions, malignancy, were excluded along with the subjects who smoked or female subjects with pregnancy or breastfeeding. The subjects enrolled in the clinical trial were divided in two groups with double blinding. The active group was supplemented with 2 billion spores per day in a single serving given in the form of tablet and received allocated intervention. Out of 36 subjects, 31 completed the trial. Studies showed promising results with improvement in conditions such as in nausea, vomiting, as well as reducing the abdominal pain, improvement in bristol, school, bristol stool score, and gut motility. Results were also as assessed by the quality of life questionnaire which showed the improvement in patient's condition and quality of life consistent with the improvement of these above symptoms. Currently, a second study on IBS is also under publication. Studies which were performed on Bacillus coagulans MTCC5856 were helpful in assessment of its health benefits. These studies were further reviewed and health claims were granted by Health Canada as below. Sabinsa also obtained the GRAS status for the lactospore in 2016 with FDA's no question letter. Now, lactospore can be formulated in variety of foods and beverages with the maximum level of 2 billion spores per serving per day. 
No, bacteria are the living cells, and like any other cells, require nutrition. Now, probiotics are living cells, like any other cell, require nutrition, right conditions to grow and proliferate to perform its probiotic function. For the nutrition part, usually probiotic formulations are given along with the fibers or nutrients which the probiotics can utilize as a source of energy and growth. These nutrients are classified as prebiotic. So let's discuss one of these uh, symbiotic combinations which contain both probiotic and prebiotic elements. A symbiotic is a combination which contains both prebiotic and probiotic that work together to improve the friendly flora of the human intestine. And prebiotic food are vital to encourage the probiotic organisms to survive and thrive in the human gut. Now, as mentioned, lactowise is a proprietary symbiotic combination containing the bacillus coccolans and soluble fenugreek galactomannans, which are marketed as prebiotic under the brand name of fenofiber. Some of the salient features of phenomenon and the reason of choice for their use as prebiotic is such as their water solubility, the tendency to form the viscous gel in the stomach and slow down the gastric emptying and thickening of the intestinal content. This also helps people suffering from the high blood sugar levels as it slows down the glucose absorption and reduces the spikes of the blood sugar following a meal. One of the benefits of choosing the right prebiotic fiber, such as fenofiber, is that it does not only it does not allow rapid fermentation in the gut and slows down the utilization of the prebiotic fiber without causing the flatulence or lactic acid accumulation in the large intestine. Further, it also suppresses the development of putrid sac processes in the stomach and intestine. Now we take the science of the probiotic supplementation to entirely next level with lactocrine. Sabinsa presents the first custom designed fit to size symbiotic blend featuring its room temperature stable single strain probiotic lactospore and prebiotic seed powder from organically grown cranberries. Lactocrine gives you scientifically studied choice of prebiotic providing optimal nutrition to the lactospore for its growth. Lactocran uses lactospore and cranberry seed powder from vaccinium macrocarpin used in this combination, which is an organic and has a unique composition. The cranberry seed powder or cran natural and lactospore make perfect combination for supplementation. Both ingredients have room temperature stability with long shelf life, cran natural can function as digestive fiber and can be used for cleansing, whereas it also provides nutrition for the probiotic such as lactospore. The uniqueness about the cran natural is related to its composition. Unlike other fiber-based prebiotics, cran natural consists of protein not less than 20%, fibers not less than 50%, with small amount of proanthocyanidins as well. This composition thus provides good source of nutrition to the bacillus coagulin. In the study uh, which was done on lactocran, the cranberry seed powder from Fruitier was selected for its unique nutritional profile. Fruitier Nutraceutical is one of the largest organic cranberry producers in Quebec area in Canada. The cranberry grown by Fruitier is different from other cranberry available in the market in terms of its high quality, transparency in the supply chain, bacillus coagulans, MTCC 5856. Culture in this study was inoculated in the cranberry seed powder as well as with fructoligosaccharides, this comparison of prebiotic strength. The study results showed log increase in the lactospore count in 
presence of cranberry seed powder, allowing its use as prebiotic. In conclusion, the results of the study showed cranberry fiber at 2% was sufficient as the sole nutrient to show growth in the lactospore viral cell. As a symbiotic formulation, lactocran provides stability to the formulators in formulation and dosage designing. As a room temperature shelf stable symbiotic combination containing grass ingredient probiotic strain MTCC5856, lactocran can be added in variety of food and functional foods. Its unique taste profile due to cranberry seed powder does not require any taste masking excipients in the food formulation. Lactocran as a symbiotic opens new avenues for the probiotic delivery. Proper nutrition with balanced diet, good sleep, healthy active lifestyle goes a long way in achieving good digestive health. I hope this presentation was helpful in giving you an idea on the benefits of supplementation of these key nutrients such as enzymes, certain herbs, and probiotics. We look forward to your questions. Please post them at the email mentioned below. Thank you and remember to take good care of your guts. After all, it's no guts, no glory. Thank you.